YGG or Yield Guild game. Blockchain based organization, also known as a guild, that helps players get into the Web3 gaming world without having to spend any money. And they achieve this by first acquiring NFTs in multiple Web3 games and then lending the same NFTs to players. After that, they'll get a percentage of what these players make with the same NFTs inside these ecosystems in the form of passive income. And you are today with the Play Turn channel, I'm Bruno and we're going to talk about YGG and this guild system that was created back in 2018. So let's imagine that you're a player and you want to play and earn in X Infinity, for example. But you don't want to spend money in those expensive X NFTs. So what you do is you can go to YDG, apply for a scholarship, and then you'll get X's lent to you, and you'll have to give back a percentage to YGG. And in the example of Vex Infinity, you'll get 70% of what you make inside the game in the form of cryptocurrency that can later be sold in an exchange and traded into fiat. And if you want to become a manager, you can also apply and you'll get 20% of what your scholars make. And here's the thing, if you become a manager, just like if you were a scholar, you won't have to invest anything. YGG will provide all the crypto assets that you'll need. And those last 10% will go to YGG Treasury. But as you guys can see, X Infinity is just one of many examples of metaverses where YGG is present. There are many others. So the process, percentages, and the system that is implemented in each NFT game is going to be different. So I just gave the concrete example of XE, but so let's imagine that you're a scholar and you want to play War Riders through YGG. Well, I believe if you do that, the application process and also the percentages might be different. Each NFT game has its own economy and ecosystem. Then a really interesting thing, which is what you must be wondering by now is how YGG managed just so many games. Why did you to begin with? It's a DAO or the centralized autonomous organization. And then in each game, there's going to be a sub DAO to manage the operations of that specific Web3 game. These sub DAOs, they have a certain level of authority, but they're still dependent on the main DAO. Then besides this, this DAO also has its own token, the YGG crypto token, which is currently at the price of 90 cents of a dollar, really far away from its all-time highs of $10 back in September of 2021. And this token is used to pay for transaction fees inside the DAO, governance and staking. It's present on the Ethereum blockchain and it's listed on around 15 different exchanges, including Binance. So if you want to buy some YGG for yourself, all you have to do is come to one of these exchanges like Binance, for example. You go to trades, spot trading, right here, YGG, and then you select one of the trading parts and you buy it. So what I think is that YGG was working quite well when X Infinity was at its peak, but right now, these big scholarship or guild systems, they don't really work with the current market conditions because what's happening right now in NFT gaming is that the majority of projects are still figuring out how to build long-term sustainable economies. So investing in these projects always comes with a very high risk. But well, the truth is that YGG, well, they're still around. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, thanks for watching and see you in the metaverse!